the top five matchup. Cole Matthews against Ryan Jack. These guys have some history, as you told us, uh, in the open. Scoring might be at a premium. Yeah, these past two matches, it's come down to one takedown where Matthews has taken advantage of some reattacks. Jack is the normal, very offensive wrestler. In this match, he might have to take it back a notch. Nine and one in duels this season. Ryan Jack, 11 and 0. Oh. Both guys have lost just once in total on the year. Yeah, just getting the feel for each other out here. It's going to be a lot of hand fighting. Probably a lot of half shots in this first period. You want to be the aggressor and get the other guy to make a mistake, but you don't want to overextend yourself and give up a reattack. Reattacks really where both these guys are so good. Yes. Yeah, so by reattack, it basically means when somebody takes a full-on shot to a leg, the other wrestler is looking for their kind of counterattack, and so we call it a reattack, where you drill it all the time in the wrestling room. You know, during practice, guys taking a lot of shots on you, you redirect it and then reattack. Center. So both guys are being offensive, Center. but it's the person who takes the initiative that might make the mistake on the reattack. Last year when they met in the Steel City, Matthews won by a three to one decision. Matthews coming off of a couple of wins from last weekend over Carolina's 13th Action, ranked gentlemen, Watson McNeil. Also against Iowa State's Casey Swiderski, who's ranked 24. So a couple of ranked wins. Matthews is very comfortable in these low scoring matches. He is pretty clingy on top, so he knows he can get a riding time point somewhere along the lines. But he's very comfortable when guys take bad shots on him because he's very good at reattacks. He's good at this front headlock position. He's looking to go head in the hole. No two yet. There's a two point takedown for Matthews. So there, Ryan Jack takes the shot, gets put underneath. And Matthews goes for the head in the hole technique. Make and sure we get a fair start doing. here. He on tried set. to Ryan Jack's head in the and his arm, and then he put the side of his ear into the rib cage, and basically shut off uh, Ryan Jack's one side of the body, and was able to get it, get into a leg attack, and finish double on the edge. Out of bounds. Go out of bounds before Jack can escape. So both guys trying to set the tone. Matthews gets the early takedown in the first period. Let's get another one. Bottom set. Go this is going through your mind if you're Jack now. Well, this is a dream scenario if you're Matthews. Getting a takedown close to the end of the first period. If he can ride this out, this is a very huge, huge momentum shifter. This is probably the dream scenario for him to start this match out. Ryan Jack needs to get very active to get his one point. Oh! One swipe, and that's all. And he does get the escape with under 10 seconds left. That was an interesting situation there where Matthews kind of went for a bit of a suck back and tried to take him to his back, but in doing so, opened it up to giving up that escape. A little risk reward there, and he does get the escape as you get a look at the top five nationally. Where are you going? Uh, this is South. a way that can be wide open. This could be uh, a preview of the national championship Good battle, perhaps. It really could, in this 141 bracket, it's, like you said, it's wide open. Aliris has been very impressive this season, but, you know, that second spot, it could be any a number of 10 guys. So, you know, we'll see how, what shakes out at the national tournament. But these are both two guys that have the, the talent and the capability to make a deep run. 40 seconds of ride time as Matthews is able to trip up Jack, staying on top here. I mentioned earlier about Matthews just being clingy on top, and he's been riding that right side leg, sometimes just with an ankle hook. And you can't stay on there for that long, but he does it for long enough to get the breakdown, and there he was able to get a full leg in. He's eclipsed one minute of riding time. He looks really good out there today. Really look for his reattacks early work on. Work to improve, work to improve. Pressuring Ryan Jack in on his feet to take a bad shot and got to his front headlock position, and now he's putting on a pretty punishing ride. Where Jack can improve is keeping elbows in. He's gonna create a scramble work to get out on top, but gets the one. Trying to turn it around. He does get the one. 
So after that flurry, you think maybe Jack had the one, but he went the for fingers, the reversal. The gave up a, about another 10 seconds of riding time that might not mean a whole lot now, but it could be at the end of the match. And that third period, Jack's going to really have to get this riding time down, and he has, he's going to have to get a takedown at some point. We go under 40 We're seconds center. here in the second period. Jack gets that ankle pick, but Matthews is very good in this position. He's going to look to fall off to the side, and Jack's going to look to split the middle in between his two legs at this point. See? Let's take another look at the scramble from earlier. See here, Jack's looking to get height. Looks like he's got one there, but goes for the two. Doesn't quite get it. Ends up getting the one. Twenty seconds left in the second. Seconds. Jack's gonna have to get a takedown either in the second period or the third period. Or he's gonna have to ride out the entire third period, which against Matthew seems like a tough ask. He's pretty good on bottom. Um, it's gonna be a very, very eventful two minutes in this third period. Both guys content to take the current 2-2 two -two scoreline into the third. Jack, an NCAA qualifier last year for the first time in his career. Matthews three times. 32. He was Bottom an All-American last year, finished Cover. fifth, and the ACC champion at this weight. Jack has been pretty good this year of collecting riding time. This is an unusual circumstance where he's given up this much of a deficit in terms of riding time. One. One. Right now, Matthews sits at 121 of riding time. Jack was going to need a takedown regardless, but, you know, if he can get a takedown, he's still got to get that riding time down. So Matthews is sitting, is sitting in a very good spot here. Fingers. With how defensive he is and how good he is at reattacks and his head the whole position. It's an uphill battle for Jack at this point. Under 90 seconds to go. Wrestle here. Red, you're warned, Red. And there is a stall warning to NC State's Ryan Jack. First warning. So first the stall warning. warning comes there. He got pushed all the way across the mat. And then when he was on the edge, back straight out. Made an attempt too fingers. late to get back in. Out of the but that's going to be a stall call every time just with the amount of ground that he gave up. Right now what I'm seeing when Jack takes his shots, it's a pretty straight on approach. Against Matthews, he's so good defensively there. And he's got a very good sprawl and good head in the whole counter. Jack's got to get angles, get him off his balance, and attack laterally, not so much straight on. It's a tremendous crowd inside Reynolds Coliseum, trying to urge Jack on as he goes in for his shot. Reynolds Waterfall the now. Matthews rolls through, very good counter wrestler. And again. Jack has picked up the offense. I'm not sure if it's going to be too little, too late. This 34 seconds is going to be huge, but against Matthews, you almost need to give yourself 20 seconds to get a takedown because you know it's always going to turn into a scramble. He needs to push the pace now. There can't be any times we're just hand fighting. 25 seconds left. Matthews is doing a really good job getting to the edge. But less real estate for Jack to get a, a, a takedown attempt. He's working the edge really well. And if There's the stall warning to Matthews. Jack trying to circle, no, 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 late no, no. clock. Five seconds left. So Matthews gives up the stall warning, but he had one to give there. That's actually a very smart strategy on his end. If you're on the edge, you can't really give up too much ground. And then if, if Jack takes a shot, he's going to go out of bounds and gets a great reattack that head in the whole finish in the first period, rides really well. The, Pretty good wire to wire 4 2 victory for Matthews. Cole Matthews with the first period takedown in control of this match, and he wins it by decision. Yeah, so here he goes, head in the hole, is chasing that backside leg, comes to the hip, and then squares off for a double leg right on the edge. This was a match I think Pitt had to win coming in, and it doesn't seem like that because it's the first match of the night, but. If Pitt loses a, a matchup with one of their veteran guys that are very highly ranked,